Hey gang, welcome to another edition of Doc Schlock by Request, where this one comes to us from fellow YouTuber Vanilla Gorilla Beast, and he asked me to watch and review Ghoulies 3, Ghoulies Go to College, wow. So pretty much what you're getting in this one is that the Ghoulies are back, but instead of being resurrected by an evil spell book, they're being resurrected by a comic book. Yeah, the movie first takes place somewhere in the 70s where this white dude, who looks like a white Steve Urkel, uh, <laughs> white dude, sorry, uh, finds a comic book, starts reading it, starts reading out loud, and the ghoulies come to life. But it doesn't last very long as the ghoulies drag him back into their little toilet, and he says a spell to wind up sucking them all back into the toilet where they come out of. 20 years later... It's prank week at this college, and the two big rival fraternities are going at it, are going at it, one one for one for the other, and uh, trying to get the crown of of best fraternity pranksters. Which honestly, the crown looks like crap anyway. There's a professor involved in the story, and he hates prank week. The Ghoulies almost make a second appearance in the movie when one of the uh, when one of the uh, members of the fraternity who wants to win the crown starts reading the comic book, but doesn't quite finish at all. And the professor confiscates the comic book and winds up bringing the Ghoulies back to life again. The professor wants the Ghoulies to pretty much do his bidding, and they do. So they wind up going all around, causing all kinds of havoc and trouble, and some of the most ridiculous deaths you've ever seen in your life. It's almost like an an it's almost like animated, but not even close to being as funny. Um, there's a plunger face death. There's a there's death by what looks like a a bomb, and I'm not bomb like. Like time bomb, like those bombs, like you would stomp on in the Mario Brothers games. You know, has a little fuse on them. Uh, security guard gets gets a hold of that bomb, and uh, probably the dumbest part of this whole movie is that the Ghoulies actually talk. So yeah, that was pretty bad too. Uh, so yeah, Ghoulies three, Ghoulies go to college, was not that much fun, and. Uh, Basically, the ghoulies just want to try and check out chicks and drink beer. And it's like, oh boy, this movie has really jumped its own shark, if you will. Uh, basically, the end of the movie comes where the professor becomes one with the ghoulies and tries to take out... Uh, tries to take out the leader of the uh, one fraternity that wants to try and win the crown from the rival fraternity... Uh, but winds up the ghoulies, who, uh, the ghoulies, professor molding, merging, <laughs> gets sucked down the toilet when the comic book gets flushed down the toilet. <laughs> and that's pretty much the end of the movie right there. So, yeah. The movie features Kevin McCarthy, who's been in numerous movies, and he's no longer with us. At least this was not his last movie. And it also features the late Marsha Wallace, who you might know her best as Mrs. Krabappel from The Simpsons. And good good Lord knows it was a good thing this was not her last movie either. So special thanks to fellow YouTuber Vanilla Gorilla Beast for sending this. And my God in heaven. I'd, I'd rather I'd rather have in the collection Ghoulies 1, 2, and 4. Even though a lot of people didn't like 4, but I, I thought 4 was pretty good. If you like my videos, feel free to subscribe, and please send me a request for a horror, comedy horror, sci-fi horror, or fantasy horror you thought was god-awful, and it can be anything, low budget or big budget, send it this way. Until next time, for Doc's Schlock, by request, stay strong, and rock on. I am not really sure what, what college they went to, but... I'm guessing it's some kind of college for for really ugly looking things. Maybe I don't know, maybe Harvard.